Okay. I have a question and a request. Um, I'm saved. I had a baby out of wedlock. I struggled with um, the decision that I made. And right now I'm at the lowest point in my life. Um, a month ago, my baby was diagnosed with liver cancer. And I know God is going to bring us out of it, but it's just been hard dealing with the whole thing. And I'm struggling to find purpose in all of this. Oh, what's your name, sweetheart? Ashley. Ashley. And this is the baby here? What's the baby's name? Caleb. Caleb? And how old is Caleb? Caleb is one. In a few minutes, we're going to pray for you and Caleb, okay? <laughs> I want you to sit down right here, and in a few minutes, we're going to pray for you and pray for her, okay? Come here, uh, Brittany, uh, or Ashley, and what's your baby's name again? Caleb. Give me some oil out of there real quick. Y'all stand up. We're going to close out by praying for this baby and this wife, this mama. You remember here, sweet? And what's the baby's name again? Caleb. Father, we anoint Caleb with oil in the name of Jesus. Father, we, we, don't, we recognize there's no power in the oil, but it's in the name of Jesus. And we pray today that you curse the cancer that is attacking her body in the liver in the name of Jesus. Lord, I just, we just humbly pray for you to bring healing to her in the name of the Lord. We know what the doctor said, but God, we believe your report that by your stripes we're healed. And we pray for Ashley today that you would encourage her and help her not to put her eyes on the circumstance or the situation, but Father, remind her that you're in charge of her life and that you love her and that you have a future and a, 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 a purpose and an assignment for her in Jesus' name. I pray not only for her and this baby, but all those who are sick and in challenging situations today. Have mercy today, Almighty God. We pray and we give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Good night, everybody. There's something in the atmosphere today. God, God works in seasons. And I just feel like this is a season of miracles. Tuesday night in Bible study, I have a time of questions and answers. And a, a young lady, a little girl, not a little girl, she's a young lady, came up with a baby. And she got step, she stepped to the mic. She said, I just want prayer because my little baby has liver cancer. And I just want y'all to pray. So we prayed for her on Tuesday. She came to the women's conference and announced that the doctor said that the level of the cancer has substantially subsided. He is a healer.
And we are the kind of church, if you're a guest with us, and I don't know what you heard about our church or what you heard about me, but I just want you to know we're the kind of church that flows with wherever the Spirit of God is leading us. We're not stuck to an agenda or a program. And today I just feel that this is a miracle Sunday. trying to find the people who need a miracle. Hold up, I ain't talking about your head hurt, your toe, you need $50. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about somebody who's in a situation that if God doesn't move, if God don't do something, it's going to be really bad. Where are you at? Come here. Today, I'm believing God for miracles, the impossible, the spectacular, the unbelievable. I believe we serve a God that can do the thing that you think cannot be done. I know what the doctor said, but we want to believe the report of the Lord. I know what the bank said, but the God we serve owns the bank. And what's required on your part is faith. Faith. Look at your neighbor and say, you got to believe, you got to believe. Did y'all tell them? Tell them on both sides. You got to believe. Faith moves God. Faith moves God. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. The Bible says when you come to God, you must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that he, he's able. So whatever he is, I believe in God for miracles believing for your marriages to be healed, believing for your children to turn around, believing for unsaved people in your family and your relatives to be saved, believing for your business to succeed, believing for whatever you stand in the need of. I just believe that this is our season of miracles. So I just want you to bow your head and open your mouth and worship God all over this building if you what you want from God just bow your head open your mouth open your mouth the Bible say when you pray say you got to open your mouth say it tell him I need you I need you Jesus
children do you hear them calling your name oh God Lord your children are beseeching you God to move on their behalf God do you see them to you you are the mighty God you are the great I am you are the God who heals us you are the God who sees you are the God who died for us you are the God who sent us Jesus you are the God that sent us Holy Spirit you are the God who reigns, you live, you're alive, you're powerful, you are magnificent. Who else would we call on but you, God? So God, we look to you for miracles. God, you're mighty. God, you're strong. You are victorious, and without you, we are nothing. So we don't look to our power. We don't look to our intelligence. We, we don't look to our finances. God, we realize we need you. So God, please God, I beseech you on behalf of your people who you created and who you know, God, that you would work miracles, God, miracles, miracles, not to glorify us, God, but every miracle that you call to pass, every marriage that you put back together, every person that you heal of disease, every financial situation that you turn around, God, every wayward child that you bring back to you, Lord. Lord, when you cause those miracles to come to pass, we promise we will give you glory. We will give you honor. This world will know that you are great and you are mighty. You are the true God. Lord, let your miracles fall. And we promise you, we promise, we won't forget to say thank you. And we will give you all the glory and the honor. Now, could somebody just praise him like you believe he heard you? Can somebody just praise him for your miracle? Can you just praise him for you? Just, what did you ask him for? Can you praise him? Can you praise him? Can you praise him?
many of you believe we can give him the praise even before we see it? So, this is a season of miracles. I just, I don't know a lot of things, but I know the presence of God and the voice of the Lord. There's a lot of stuff I don't know, but I know God. Yeah. And I know his presence. And this is a season of miracles. And I just want to challenge you to believe God for your miracle. Amen. If God could touch that baby on Tuesday, and before the conference was over, the doctor said, the baby is not in the same condition that we first found the baby in. Nobody but God could do that. And if he did it for the baby, he'll do it for you and you and you and you and you and you and you, whatever you need, he'll do it for you. Now here's what I'm believing him for. I'm believing him for the miracle of somebody's mind and heart changing about Jesus. Now let me ask this question. If you're in here today, I don't know why you're here, this might be your first time here, but you have never surrendered your life to Jesus Christ. You have never been born again, forgiven of your sins. And that could be those who you know, I was a church goer, religious person, but I had been born again. And one Tuesday night, I, I got saved. If you're here today, you never accepted Jesus. If you were to die in your present condition and you've never accepted Jesus, stop moving. Don't walk right now. This is not the time to walk. Please stay right where you are. Stop moving. Thank you. If that's you, hold up your hand. Say, you know what, Pastor? I'm just not, I'm not in the right place. I see that hand. Anybody else? Don't be ashamed. I see that hand. I see that hand. The presence of the Lord is here. Anybody else? Are you raising your hand? Anybody else? Just hold your hand up high. I want to see people who say, you know what? I, I need Jesus. I need forgiveness. I see you. I see you. Anybody else? Don't be ashamed. I see you. Amen. I see you. I see you. Praise the Lord. I see you. Amen. Great. All right, anybody in a, say, you know what? I started with Jesus, but I drifted away. I'm not where I'm supposed to be, and I want to rededicate. Hold up your hand real quick. If that's you, you're saying, I backslid. I want to rededicate myself afresh to him. Hold up your hand. I see that hand. I see that hand. I see that one. I see you. I see you. I see that one back there. Okay, great. Anybody who's saying, I'm not sure. I don't know for sure. 
I want to be sure I'm not positive. Sometimes I think I'm saved, sometimes I think I'm not saved. I just ain't sure. You can walk out of here today absolutely sure. If you're not sure, hold up your hand. We're going to help you get sure today so you can. You don't even have to join our church. We just want you to be sure about Jesus. Anybody in that category? Finally, I see that hand. I see you. Anybody here, I see the hand. Anybody here, you saved, but you need a church because this here is a great church. And you want to join our church. Raise your hand. You're saying, I need to join the church. God bless you, brother. I see the hand. Anybody else? I see your hand. Amen. Anybody else? Okay. I see your hand. If you raise your hand, just hold your hand up and make your way. They're going to let you through. Make your way. Come right on up here on the platform real quick. Just come on up here on the platform. You raised your hand. Come on up here. Y'all let them through. Hold your hand up so they can see where you are. Just everybody stay where you are. Just move so they can come on up here. Praise the Lord. This is. That's a nice patty cake for me. But this is what the Lord has done. Wow. Anybody else? This, it would be a shame to be in the presence of God and God is moving right now and for you not to respond to that tug on your heart that tug those thoughts to, to, to make that choice that's God it's the devil telling you don't go up there yeah. wait wait till you get it together wait till you stop sinning if you could have stopped sinning you would have stopped by now look at your neighbor and say you can't stop you need Jesus to to break the chain somebody say he's a chain breaker he'll break every chain so don't be ashamed this we just one big family that's all we are we one great big old family so let me just can I wait for like two or three more people y'all just keep on singing that song Anthony for just a moment Alright. 
All right, y'all look at me. Can y'all see me? Y'all looking at me? Nod your head, wink your eye, any kind of acknowledgement that you can see me. Just say, amen, I see you, Pastor. Listen to what I'm going to tell you. I'm about to take you back into a room. We got a, we got a secret room in the back back there, we call it. There's going to be some counselors that's going to meet you there. They're going to minister to you. They're going to find out where you are spiritually, and they're going to walk you through a process. You're going to leave this building differently than the way you came in. Some of y'all came in here going to hell. Some of y'all going to walk out of here going to heaven. Some of you came in here without Jesus. You're going to walk out of here with Jesus. Some of you walked in, came in here with sadness. You're going to walk out of here with joy and forgiveness. Some of you came in here backslid. You're going to be restored. Some of you came in unsure. You're going to get sure. And some of you came in here with no church, no family. No church family. You're going to leave out of here with a church family by yourself. All right? Let me pray for you. Father, I pray for each and every woman, each and every man, each and every child, boy and girl, man and woman. You know their names, you know their journey, and I want to pray that you forgive them, cleanse them, wash them, plant them, fill them with the power of your spirit, break every chain. Thank you for bringing them here today. Restore what's been taken, and God, you manifest yourself to them as our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen.